Welcome to Black is Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. So, today is going to be a general message. I'm about to pull some cards, get all in your business, tell you what you need to know, you take it in, and yeah, at the end, you know we got to get into the freaky deck because obviously we know you got some people that's stuck on you. So, why not get into their freakiest, darkest secrets? Just saying. But first, you know I gotta like my Palo Santo because we we expel demons over here, baby. So let's get it. Gotta come see a prayer extension, open up my third eye so that I can give my collective a reading. Also, I ask that any energies that are not mine, any entities that are lingering around me, send them back to hell. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection, baby. Now let's get in your business. <laughs> and let's get in their business. Yeah. I'm gonna start with this one. Now give me some messages from my collective. What does my angels need to know? Give me some messages from my collective. Your name may start with E. Their name may start with E. Or this could be the beginning of y'all's last name. But I'm hearing you make it look easy. You make it look easy. Everything you do. It's like you don't even try. Because to be honest, you don't try. You just go off of how you feel. You go off your inner knowing. And that is what makes it look easy. Meanwhile, it's people out here tripping over their self trying to be something they not trying to go over and beyond and still don't get a position um mm, but you you don't gotta do the most you are the most so right now your best advice is to save and stack up your money because you got travels coming investments coming and yes always there's always uh, some damn bill so be prepared because you never know who may snake you and make you lose a job. And now you gotta realize, now you gotta figure out where your money coming in from. Gotta be careful because you never know when an overdraft fee may come. You just never know. And also, summer is on the way, so you got travels and investments. So that's a little advice. Give me some more. Mm. And right now. God is telling you to stay solo. The, the analogy I gave you about you never know when, when somebody might snake you and make you lose your job. This comes with relationships too and friendships. You never know who is planning to snake you. And you don't want to be snaked, especially when you don't even, you're not even paying attention or thinking that that person that you're dealing with is even capable of that. You have to watch out for yourself and as well as somebody else. Give me some more messages. Your name may start with a B. Their name may start with a B. Or it may be the beginning of y'all last name. But I'm hearing you a baddie. Period. Hands down, baby. Hands down. So whoever don't work out, you'll get another one. Whatever don't work out, you'll get another one. And that's in opportunities. That's in relationships. That's in any damn thing, baby, because you make it look easy. You are the pressure that makes diamonds. So, yeah. <laughs> what I tell you, there's always a snake ready to snake you, collective. We, what you be doing to these folks? You be having these people in a frenzy. <laughs> it says, not being happy for you because I'm envious. You got somebody in your life that is a snake, baby. A real sneaky, slimy, stanky snake. This person is angry because what? You make it look easy. You keep on achieving goals that they have never even thought to just get out their own body and do. This person really wants to be you. That's where that green with envy come with. This person don't want to see you happy because they're not happy. They're not able to move out their situation. 
They don't want you to be able to be moving out your situation. They don't want to see you travel. They don't want to see you make it. They don't want to see you make no extra money. They don't want to see you in a happy relationship. They don't want to see you overall happy. And I'm hearing it's friends of yours. I'm hearing it's family members of yours. And I'm definitely hearing that it's past people of yours. G may, their G may be your name, start with your name or their name, or it could be the beginning of their name. But all I hear is, you're good. <clears throat> they, want me, they want me to shut up and try to choke up each other. But no, you're good. No matter how envious this person is, God is about to make me the most sick. They could be puking how sick they are from the blessings you're about to get. Mm, 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 mm. People just be hating, but need to be congratulating. Yeah, give me some messages from my collective. What do they need to know and be aware of when it comes to their life, love life, situationships, anything? What are the secrets that need to be unfolded? Because I ain't nothing getting past me, and I'm going to definitely make sure it don't get past you. Give me some more messages from my collective. Give me some more messages. <laughs> All I hear is, it's enough! <laughs> okay, okay. Jeez. But you got somebody that have a crush on you. It's probably this, it's probably this envious person. Because, you know, hate is strong admiration. But you also got just regular people that's crushing on you. Because, like, I feel like you finally stepped out your comfort zone. You're posting more on your social media. You're doing more. You're going out more. You're hanging out with like friends and family. People are seeing you, especially the people that you work with. Okay, Miss Work Boo, Mr. Work Boo. Be careful because if that person don't work out, now you got to see that person every day. Now you got to get you a new job. That's why I was telling you, save that money because you may just get into a situation ship at your job and it don't work out and you gotta find you a new job that's for somebody because this past person is very delusional and these new people that's coming in because you your shine is so bright sometimes some people just they're not in your league right but they're delusional enough to think that they are and they will try to come your way they will try to fight for your attention, knowing damn well they can't afford to be in a relationship. They got too much going on in their regular life, and you're out of their league. And this past person is delusional about, you know, you ever giving them another chance. You ever seeing them in a light that you used to see them in. Because right now, you know the truth about them, and it's a wrap for them. But they're delusional and keeping hope that one day you'll come back to them knowing they got too much going on in their life. Knowing this person can't even not lie. Because you would be with this person, right? If they were a stand-up guy, stand-up girl. But they're not. And they're very they're even very delusional about themselves, the wrong that they've done. They don't take accountability. They're just living in la la land and wanting you to join them mm. it will be pisces hey pisces <laughs> but yes you may be a pisces or this person may be a pisces or a future option may be a pisces but beware they can be very delusional and very angry people so be careful that you don't get an unhealed one and you get bust upside your head because somebody don't went through your phone and it's old messages not present messages and they're delusional so they swear that you cheating on them and now you gotta get a get now you gotta catch a dv don't get me wrong pisces can be very loving very romantic but they do have a very dark side so be careful. But either way, change is coming for you. 
Change is coming real soon for you. But first, you got to deal with these toxic people. You got to cut off these toxic exes. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to hear it collective. I only text them sometimes. Oh, I only answer the phone sometimes. I only like see them once out the week. I don't really even think about this person, but yet you follow them on Instagram. Don't lie to me, collective. Yet you have this person on Facebook, Twitter. They're able to still check on you. You still respond. You still answer their phone. Don't lie to me. Because how are you going to make a change in your life if you keep allowing these toxic people to really feel that you, you're, you're helping them be delusional? Because they're able to come back and chit-chat. <laughs> you're giving them hope. Too much hope. So you got to cut toxic people out your life. I don't care if it's the smallest thing like somebody not keeping their word on like, okay, so say if somebody never ever keeps their phone on D&D, &D, right? Then out of nowhere, when it gets like the sun go down, their phone is on D&D. &D. Baby, I don't care what they say. I don't give a damn if they say it's because of the job. What job makes you put your phone on D&D? &D? I don't care. Uh -uh. They're just, they're doing something sneaky. I don't care. Shoot me up in the comments if you want to, but you would be the fool to think that somebody's really, really going without their phone. Come on, man. So get rid of people at the smallest sign of toxic. Get rid of people at the smallest sign of them being delusional, of them not gonna be able to hold your heart in high regard. Don't be out here being delusional with the delusionals. Because the reason why you can never, you know, get along with this past person or these toxic people is because your light irritates their demons. You vibrate too high to even relate to people like this. And that's why they're jealous because they feel like you're too good. Because you are. They're right. You are too good to be hanging around them. So trust the universe because it's a change coming for you. You got money coming in. I hear you got new love coming in. So trust in yourself and trust that everything is working out for your highest good. So if people get cut off, it's for your highest good. If people show you or betray you, it's for your highest good because you were hard hit it. And God had to punch you in the face with some betrayal so that you can let somebody go. Because you wasn't listening to him You're going to have people trying to right their wrongs real soon. But don't give second chances to people who wronged you in the first place. Fuck a right or wrong. Bye-bye. And this is happening in your present. Mm -hmm. People are trying to say sorry. Trying to double back. But there is no double back. Turn your back. And I'm also hearing blessings are coming in quicker than you think. It's not later. It's now. Because mm. God is what? In the present, he's making your enemies your footstool. You stepping and crunching on their little neck. Because <laughs> oh. God's going to send you somebody hard working in your future real hard working right and also he wants you to know he admires your hard working that's why you're getting your blessings it's because no matter how hurt you are we turn that pain into inspiration mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, you do. and you don't let nobody hold you down because for what why would you be in a corner crying you got stuff to do. Bills need to be paid. Can't nobody just be sitting around crying over somebody who don't even pay a bill? Child.
Because either way it go, you're the divine feminine. You're the divine masculine in every situation you've been in. That's why they feel like you're too good. They envy you, but you are to be envied. You are to be seen at a high light. It's because you are. Don't allow people who are beneath you to make you feel beneath them when they're underneath the soles of your feet. And your natural beauty. You're handsome. You're beautiful. You look good. You smell good. Everything about you is good. And that's what got them mad. Especially these egotistical people. Especially your egotistical ex. Egotistical friends. Egotistical family. They hate you. But they smile on your face. Because at the end of the day, hate is admiration. Misplaced. Your ex got anger issues. These people got anger issues. They need to heal for themselves before they try to come for you. They project onto you because of everything in their life messed up. And they mad about it. But also it's telling you be careful not to get too close to these Obviously, they're bombs. They're just ready anything to make them tick and blow. Be careful. Because you don't want to be out here looking like a bruised plum. Because you misjudge somebody's anger. And the capability to put their hands on you. Because you deserve to be treated right. You don't, uh -uh. That low vibrational is low vibrational. You're not low vibrational. So, don't allow somebody to treat you low vibrational period mm -mm. Mm. your affirmation for today is I'm not low vibrational I'm high vibrational I attract high vibrational I am not low vibrational I am high vibrational so I attract high vibrational So get in control of yourself emotionally. Start thinking with your mind and not your heart. That is what's getting you hurt. Okay? I can attest to that. Okay? I wouldn't be here teaching you if I ain't been through it. You cannot lead with your heart. Because your heart will see something shiny and want it. But your mind will tell you it's not for you. You go with your mind and not your heart. But 1111, make you a wish, divine feminine, divine masculine. You get whatever you want. Literally, you're connected to the source. All you got to do is ask. Y'all be up there waiting on you to ask him for something. But you too hard working with a little bit of pride. You ask for your wishes. Because these people got a strong sense of jealousy. And you think they're jealous now? Oh, baby. They finna be real, real jealous later. Especially when you get everything you want. Especially when you start looking and living how your heart is. Which is big. Big, 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 big. Everything big. Hmm. They get high from ruining people's lives. These are the type of people in your life right now. These toxic people. These angry people, these jealous people, they get a high off of seeing you sad. Have you ever noticed that when you cry around these people, they don't really seem to empathize with you? It's more of they're watching you cry? That's somebody who is getting a high from your pain. And that is somebody that needs to be blocked Cut the cord, block, and delete it. I shall lie. Because why are you just sitting there? Where are my hugs? Where Where's the tissue to wipe my tears? Where is the, the sweet words that I need to hear to keep it moving? People show you how you feel about them. No, how they feel about you and their actions. You just got to pay attention. Because these people ain't doing nothing but projecting onto you. All they do all day. 
When they the hoe, they calling you the one that's promiscuous. When they the liar, they the one that's calling you the liar. When they're not hardworking and lazy, they're trying to make it seem like you're lazy. You just want to be, you just want a handout. When everything that they say is them. They project jealousy, but swear that you're jealous of them. How? What they got to be jealous of? Nothing. Because they are nothing. And this person that you got on the side, not even a side, because it came out for a reason, because you still talk to this person. So I'm talking to this person. They already got somebody. Karmic side piece, baby. They're already connected to somebody. They're already connected to somebody. Leave, leave this person alone. Stop allowing them to have access to you. Do not be somebody's escape. No. Go home to whoever you got at home, Buster. Because what? These people still got their name, your name in their mouth. What I'd say? A person, it's probably this your ex person to this karmic. Oh, they don't mean nothing to me. It was just a little fling. Liar. They talk to their friends about you. Oh, I lost her. I lost him. It's like too much going on. Too much going on. You talk down about my collective to somebody else, but then you bring them up around other people. You are lost, delusional, and sick in the head, baby. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. and this person got a kid and they karmic finna put them on child support because they're tired of them cheating on them they're finna get fed up too and lead this person and take their money cause of child support cause of what they found out about y'all's affair yeah yeah you was a side chick it happens to the best of us but you weren't just a side chick this person was in love with you but also in a different situation. So they couldn't even really pour into you. But their karmic felt somebody in the mix. Their karmic already had to deal with this cheater. Constantly cheating on them. But you was the straw that broke the camel's back. How are you going to fall in love with the girl? How are you going to fall in love with the dude? Then come back home to me. Found out about the affair. And if it take this delusional, narcissistic, angry person for all they got. <laughs> but what? Your ex family, your ex friends, your ex, they be paying for spell work, baby. They be spending all their money on spell work to try to stop you, to try to get like information on what you're doing because. Most of the people in your past, you don't even talk to no more. They don't even know how to reach out to you. They don't even know how to find you. So they're paying voodoo doctors, witch doctors, psychics, tarot readers to find out what it is you have going on now. But that's going to only cause them to lose it all. Everybody in your past who've done you wrong, who've done an earth angel wrong, ooh-wee. Do you not know the consequences? of messing and hurting with, hurting God's favorites, you're gonna lose it all, family members included. Because what? They be going to witches. What? Your ex person dabbled in some witchcraft. What? Their person dabbled in witchcraft. Because what? They're drawn to your energy. These people were energy vampires. They fed off of you. Mm, I just love. See, oh, I don't even know where that knock came from, but knock on wood, it's the truth. And that was kind of creepy. But anyway, <laughs> oh my God, they just, they just do something to me. Like when I'm around them, I feel so happy. My life is so great when they're near. Oh, ooh. Ah, I get an ego boost. I feel like the man, the woman. Mm. They're drawn to your energy. But who would, it, who would it be? You're divine feminine, a divine masculine. There's only one of one. Rare, very rare. They come across somebody like you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Gotta give me some more messages. What does the collector need to know? Mm, I already see some tea. Give me some messages. What does the collector need to know? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I'm gonna dig into your ass. So, God is telling you, knocking you upside your head, walk away from people who don't reflect your value. Like I said, you are out of these people league. You make them delusional when you deal with them because they think that they got you because they're in your league. They get the big head and start treating you like you're beneath them when really it's the other way around. You just had a big enough heart to see the, the um, what's the word? Mm, potential. You saw the potential in them and that's what you went for. When really you should have left them alone, baby. You should you should have used your logic and been like, uh, oh, this person ain't even worth my time. They're beneath me. I don't care how I may make you look. Uppity. Whatever. These people are beneath you at the end of the day. They don't even reflect your value. So walk away from these people. And I mean walk away from these people. Because if I have to tell you again, I'm gonna snatch you up through that screen. And I ain't gonna be pulling you in for no kiss. I'm going to be pulling you in to whisper in your ear, stop playing with me and stop playing with God. Because I, what? I'm here to help you. That's all. I'm here to show you the way. To wake you up. To put you back on the right track. So listen to me, baby. Listen, Linda. Listen, Daryl. Listen. Mm -hmm. This ex person, all your exes, really. All of them, flings and all. It's just something about your sex. I mean, you're a divine feminine, a divine masculine. It's different in the bedroom. It's passion, it's intensity. It's, it's just, it's all around love. People out here just, they just be screwing. So when they find somebody who pours their self into them, brings out things in them, you're unforgettable. That's unforgettable. So unforgettable that they try to copy you. <laughs> they try to use what you've done on other people and it just don't hit the same. It just don't hit the same because they're not you. You're so delusional. You done boosted this person's ego up so high that they really think that they're on your level in every in every way. In every way. But they're not. They couldn't even hold a candle to you. Mm -mm -mm. And what I tell you, honey bunny, that person is in a relationship. Committed. Not going nowhere. So don't fool yourself and don't be out here being delusional thinking that they're going to leave them for you. They ain't never leaving. They got too much wrapped up in this person. They don't want to lose it all trying to follow their heart. This person is too logical. Instead of actually following their heart on something that God is pushing them to do, they would rather stay in a karmic cycle and mimic your energy and be stuck on you instead of doing the work to actually reflect your value. But I mean, do you really want to give somebody that's a witch a chance? They're going to make you lose it all like they're losing it all. And they're a hater, low key. They see all the progress that you're doing and they're like, they just think they all that. My, my divine collective, they are all that. They are. Y'all are. Cause this person's stuck in a karmic cycle and I hear they love it there. They love it there. Don't get me wrong. Yes, they love you, but they love all that karmic toxic stuff. And you're not none of that. You're none of that. They can't come over there with you and be toxic and be karmic, but they can do that over there at home. They can bust a person upside the head. They can go out and cheat and come home. Not with you. They can control that person, not you. Cause it's, 
because this person is not committal what i've been telling you they're not even committing to the person they got at home why you think they finna get taken to court this person is about to they are literally losing it they are done they are they are slowly being like you know what this ain't it <laughs> they finna take them for child support and if it ain't a child involved they finna take them for their money because they're married like i said they got stuff they wrapped up in something and if they're not married somebody is doing something somebody money is wrapped up in this connection but this person there ain't nothing but a hoe. But they treasure you though. But they, you're their favorite. I'm not not your, the only one. You're their favorite. Let think about that. Do you know how degrading that is? Being somebody's favorite, but not the only one. Uh uh. Uh uh. That ain't enough. That may be enough for the one you got at home, but it's not enough for my divine collective. Give me, give me one more message. They're secretly into bestiality. Now, this may not be literal, but this means that all the things of the beast, drugs, alcohol, sex with with both sexes manipulation gaslighting hidden women hidden men they have the mark of the beast they are the beast careful man and they're a pathological liar not only is this person the darkest of the dark they dabble in witchcraft they have a witchcraft type of girlfriend, boyfriend. They're obsessed with you, yet they hate on you. Yet they feel like you think that you're too good because you are. Their ego so big because you don't allow this person to become delusional from even fucking with you. They thought because they could pull you that they were something, but really you was giving them a chance. Sometimes we, sometimes the divines just be out here just doing stuff. Just be doing stuff. I'm gonna need you to be more logical. Cause this person ain't gonna do nothing but continue to lie to you. Continue to lie, 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 lie. Anything they say that come out their mouth, it be a lie. You can ask them what's the weather gonna be like. They may say it's sunny and didn't even check the weather. Didn't even check it. Pathological liar. Now let's get you an angel number so I can go ahead and lay you to rest. Gotta give me some angel numbers for my collective. My divine collective. Give me some angel numbers. Give me some angel numbers. We got the cardinal bird, my favorite, my ancestors. You always fight against insecurities. You don't be sitting up. Oh, well, this person got more in me, so that means I'm not nothing. No, you gonna work on yourself. So that you are something. That's what makes you too good for people. Because you put in the work while other people complain and hate. Birds chirping. And we hear the birds chirping. Mm -hmm. It signifies that your guides and your spirit animals are visiting you. They're saying good morning, boy. They're saying it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Why, meanwhile, people are going to be hating on you all day for the rest of your life, for the rest of your being. It is what it is. But you should take that hate as you're doing a damn thing. Because what this person is thinking, oh, here we go again. They thinking that when they, when they hear that you're listening to me, because here we go again. Here I go telling all their business. Here I go exposing them to you again. And here you go, finna cut them off again. But this time, my love, don't go back. Don't go back. Because this is the mark of the beast. This is a beast. And not in a good way. So, 
That's all. Hold on. My bands and being told. Mm. I'm warning you, but God is also warning you with the groundhog spirit. Warning, something is afoot that may put you in danger. Dealing with this person that got a witchy girlfriend and boyfriend. Ooh, and boyfriend. <clears throat> okay, now you're going to put yourself in danger because they're going to get rid of you before they get rid of this person. So be careful. Cut ties. Block and delete. I love y'all so much. And if ain't nobody told you today, you are the pinnacle of value. You are better than most. And don't let nobody ever tell you that you're not. Okay? Love y'all. And I do appreciate all the love y'all show me on the daily. On the daily. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.